guy I just started working with about a week ago. He is brand new at his company. He's a real go-getter. He's a real um, sales, you know, entrepreneurial type person. And what this company does is, or what he does is, uh, anywhere in in the country that there's like a hailstorm or some kind of damaging uh, mm-hmm. catastrophe, they zoom in there and and mm-hmm. offer offer people, you know, if you got insurance, we could replace your roof for this this best deal. Oh yeah, that's that's what he does, and um, he. He knows how to use Facebook, but he's not a technical guy at all. He's not a, a, you know, he doesn't know how to run ads or anything. And he, due to the quarantine, he can't knock on doors. He, he's <laughs> only allowed this, like, it's like one square mile. It, it, it's, it's, um, you know, he's, he, he works for a whole company and they, uh, you know, they divide up the city and he's got like one square mile and he can't knock on doors. So he's got to find some other way to, to get people's attention. And Facebook ads is what, uh, is one thing I suggested. Heck um, yeah, bro. Like that's the best suggestion. Like w- other than that, you, there's nothing else, right? I mean, that's just fact, but if you can't honest- drive the guy leads though, I mean, I, I, um, granted, granted his offer isn't that great. I mean, the only thing he's even allowed to offer is a free inspection. You know, he, it's, it's not his company. He just works there so he can offer them a free inspection, but he can't give them anything really kick-ass, you know, like, uh, I don't know, like other, the, the first thing I look at for ads, if they're not working, the first thing I look at is the offer. You know, what what are what are you mm-hmm. is the offer good enough and then if if um if not then if it is i go to something else but if not then well let's check out you know what is your video good is your you know what, what are your targeting you know but the first thing i look at is the offer and I, I admit it's not that great but there's just nothing he could do about it it's not his company so um so he's looking for obviously more appointments. He's looking for, for scheduled appointments for calls, right? That's yeah. Yeah. He's looking to get somebody on the phone so he can, he can uh, close them. Um, if not, if not go to their home, I mean, he can, he can go, he can go to their home onto the roof, but he can't go in their home, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. whatever the rules are, but he's, yeah, he wants a name, phone, email that he could contact and close, um, you know, and get, and go, you know, just go, go to their location, get up on their roof and see what happened. And, there's these rules like if if even one shingle is displaced, they get a new roof. I mean, there's these there's wow. these there's these insurance rules that I don't understand altogether. But apparently, if even one shingle is is displaced, uh, boom, you get a new roof. So, wow. So then, is he is he focused on one specific area, or he's he's focused on every damn area in the country that can possibly have? Some right type now, of- he's in Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay. Because that's where a, a hailstorm had hit on. I think the 13th. I think. Um, so he's in Raleigh right now, and that's where the company is located. But that's um, gotcha. But that's it, what he's that's what he's doing. Does he live there as well? No, um, he he lives up in Cleveland, I think. Uh, he's, gotcha. He, he's I don't know how long ago his divorce was, but it's he's mm-hmm. he's divorced. He's got a girlfriend. Um, he's he's a uh, he's he's a very entrepreneurial guy. He's a very um, high energy go getter type of guy, and uh, he's he's had ups and downs. He's um, oh yeah. He's always he's one of those guys that's always doing something new. Um, so the offer for sure um, is is super important. Like for example, like a lot of people run run Facebook ads with no with 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 an intention of of capturing a lead, but their offer has to be a little bit more. And and so that's why like a, a few videos that I you know put out recently is just all about dangling bait in front of that audience, like giving them given something of value and it could be super simple like a like a pdf but 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 leading with that now i don't know if he has that kind of time or if he even wants to go that route but but if i was looking at an ad if, and i was in my news feed and i'm just scrolling through and 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 a person's just willing to give me their time like a free call i may be hesitant unless i see that ad multiple times and that's basic advertising 101 that's where seven a times, consumer right? has to see your shit over and over you know Seven times, right? That's seven classic, times. Classic. Seven classic. times before they actually make a move. But how do I condense that seven times? Like, I, I ain't got time for seven times, right? Like, we may, yeah. we may not even have seven different ads for all we know, right? So how do we condense it? I got to give you something. Like, I got to entice you. I have to bribe you. And a lot right. of times, that's, that's a free download. Like, click- I've got two different ads for it. I've got one video ad and one uh, carousel ad. Um, okay. So we don't have seven ads. We, we only have two. So, so it, it just comes down to there, like starting there and, and, and now asking the question, okay, what, what's the objective? What type of ad are we running? 
that, that, that's kind of where it starts as well. So we got the offer and then we got, now we got to look into, into your Facebook to see which ad. Are you running an actual video view ad for that video? I could show you if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's look into that real quick because I can let really. Me, let me share my screen. Let me ask you this also. Are you guys capturing leads from it? No, none yet. Okay, I, so I'm going to tell you why. I'll tell you why. Three days. Yeah, I'll tell you why. Go ahead and, um, yeah, go ahead and share your screen. Let me, let me share my screen. I got my business manager open right now. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Let me grab some water. Yeah, go ahead. Where are you at, bro? I am in Pittsburgh. Right on, uh, man. Where, where are you? California. Oh, great. <coughs> this, this is my other client. I mean, this just proves that I do know how to drive leads. He's got eight leads so far for $15 a lead. Uh, awesome. this, this, this is a pressure washing company. Actually, um, I can't see anything. Oh, really? Let me yeah. crap, wait. Oh, I, I have to hit share. There you go. Perfect. Okay, okay, now you can see. This is another customer of mine. He's got eight leads at 15 bucks a lead. But then when I go to uh, Tim, which is the guy I'm called you about, he has nothing. Um, what type of ad are you running with the other one? Like the actual, the actual with, campaign. The one that had eight. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Leads. That was a video ad, um, and it had. And he does own his company, so he. I made sure he gave him a good offer. Um, you know, he's got like a free free driveway cleaning uh, who, for anybody who purchases a home cleaning. Can you go back to that real quick? Yeah, sure. Let me. Um, Click on, um, yeah, click on edit under lead generation. Click on um, the edit. So you got eight leads off of this one, and this is a, you're running a, okay, so lead generation, scroll down a little bit. Show more options right there below lead generation. Okay, so then you're running, you're, you're, you're not even using a landing page. You're just using the, the lead generation. Oh, yeah, form. yeah, I should have mentioned gotcha. that. These are all lead gen forms. These are, these are even all the other one? Yeah, yeah, because he doesn't own the web page. He, gotcha, he gotcha, uh, gotcha, gotcha. He okay. Other option. Perfect, perfect. Okay. This guy does own a website, but it's just not that good. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just not suitable yet. So I had gotcha. ads. Okay, cool. So let's go back to the other one then. Okay, so lead generation is what you guys are focused on. Yeah. He, as he just, far as the objective name, name, phone number, email, that's all he wants. Perfect. Okay. So then let's, um, so that's lead, gener yeah, this yeah. lead generation as well. Click on the ad sets. Uh, okay. Ads. Ad set. Yeah. So yeah. I had, I can go to edit here and show yeah. you what, yeah, I had, um, I had started off just, just targeting everything like no, no targeting at all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But then I, I just, I later decided that Rich, that's, that's crazy. You got to at least target homeowners, even if it does take you down to 8,000, you know, less than 10,000 mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. audience. It's just crazy to just bomb everybody. What, what you do with that, like one strategy with, with leaving it wide open and not even putting in a keyword, especially with the video ad, the biggest strategy behind that is the fact that we're going to retarget, we're going to create a custom audience around everyone who actually watches it. And then retarget that custom audience. Right. Everybody who watched 50% or 20%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that would give you a good custom audience to run Facebook ad number two, and that would be lead generation. So, okay. so for example, the first ad could have been video views, not lead generation. It could have been video views. You leave the targeting wide open. You run it for, let's just say, and this just, you know, depend on someone's budget, right? If, if someone's on their last dollar, then this may not be the best strategy, but if someone has a little bit, a little bit to spend, eh, he'll be, he's on his last dollar, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So then go get straight to the point, right? Lead generation and, and, and forget about even retargeting a custom audience who watched the video um, yeah. because that custom audience would be powerful um, to retarget, but you don't have to do it. It's not mandatory, you know? So he is on a pretty strict budget. Yeah. Okay, cool. So then, I mean, you're running, you're running the right ad scroll, scroll down. Let's see, scroll down. So then you oh, got the other scroll. Yeah, there we go. So $10 a day. Um, well, it's it, each, each ad is $10 a day. Yeah. Um, or did I? Yeah. Each, each yeah. ad is $10 a day. Okay. So, you know, so North Carolina. 18. Yeah, this is Raleigh, Raleigh, North Carolina. 
you see, I only set it to two miles, and it's just a two mile radius. Uh, mm -hmm. Get everybody we can get. Yeah, that's a that's a super small targeting two miles, but it's 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 still powerful. I mean, you could still crush it. But yeah. um, like I said before, I didn't even have this. I had I had this off, and then I just decided. I think I think the reach was twenty five thousand. Um, and I just said, Rich, it's crazy to target everybody. You gotta, you gotta at least target homeowners, even if it does take it down to 8,000. It's, um, I mean, I, I still haven't, I still haven't mastered Facebook's, uh, algorithm. I know it likes big numbers to work with, but well, you know, I haven't had my first time with a, a territory this small. Yeah. Everything is about when it comes to Facebook ads, like I just got done going through a pretty damn expensive course, which taught me a, sh a crap load like it taught me. Some, but, but at the same time, it was basic, like basic stuff. Like I truly believe people miss the basics. Like when it comes to real, real, real scaling of this thing and, and, and really effective Facebook ads, it's really about not even necessarily the targeting, but it's about creating custom audiences. It's about creating custom audiences and, and custom conversions. And then once you have a custom audience, but in this case, you're dealing with a very, you know, um, small radius, but still there's, 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 there's a custom audience that can be built and, and should be built because at the end of it all, it's, it's the custom audience that you end up creating a lookalike audience around. And that's, that's kind of, that's kind of more getting more into it. And, and if you're going to be running it for longer, but if a guy like this, a client of yours like this, that's only in and out. They're yeah, in he this area. He doesn't have a. He's not exactly long term here. It's it's exactly. Like That's what. Yeah. Like, he goes where the storms happen. Yeah, exactly. So it's not like he can build a real brand in a specific area. You know. I, so, I wouldn't. I wouldn't bet on it. No. Yeah. So and and let me ask you this: When you first started this ad, did you have it blank? And then as the ad was running, you came in here, edited it, and added, added those. Yeah, I, I had the ad running um, with with no targeting at all. And I had a reach of 25,000. Then I, I wasn't driving any leads. And I said, I, I have to at least target homeowners here. It's, it's, it's okay. So that could have, threw, that could have thrown off the algorithm as well. Yeah. And I know, I know. So I, it, if anything, I would just shut it off and do it again. Start over. Yeah. Start it over. Yeah. Okay. Shut it off. And then, and then start it over. So, and so then yeah. what I would also do is the whole I campaign, would, you mean the whole, the whole, the whole campaign. Just yeah. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Because it's not doing anything anyways. But but I'm just saying I'm 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 just somewhat assuming and 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 guessing so to to a certain extent. But I'm also pretty confident in my guess is the fact that anytime you start an ad and then you go in and edit, that throws it off. Sure. Yeah. I know. I I, so, I, I know that it confuses the algorithm. I that, I um I kind that, of that can't... could be the reason. All right. I'm trying to. I'm tr I was trying to make a good impression on this guy. And um, no, you're gonna crush I, it I for him. What's that? You'll, you'll crush it for him. Don't worry. You'll, 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 you'll crush it. But at the same time, we could let, let, let's do it the right way and just, and just, and just shut it off. And here's what I, here's another, another strategy that I would, I would test for sure. If the budget is $10 per day, I would create two ad sets, one ad set, $5 a day targeting homeowner. The second ad set, $5 a day targeting home improvement. Okay. So we separate those. Okay. 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 So they don't get grouped in. We want to separate them. Got it. So let's, um, yeah. So, so if anything, close out this and then just, um, how long, when did this start anyways? When did you start this ad? Uh, like, like Thursday last week, I think, or Friday okay. maybe. Okay. So then you've already spent, you know, a few bucks on it then. You got about for sure. 40 or $50 into okay. it now. Yeah. It's all, yeah. I would just, I would just shut it off and then, and then let's, let's, let's do it again. Because okay. like, even if we keep it on and it keeps going the same damn way, we're still going to spend the money anyways. So, yeah, we, we, right? We might as well turn it off today, start it up again tonight, and go from there. And what I what I do a lot as well is if, like, for example, right now, you know, you're let's see, you're Eastern time, so you're already at five, you know, past five o'clock. What I would do if we're setting up the ad this second, which we are, I would schedule it to go live tomorrow morning. Okay. So don't turn it on this second. Schedule it. We'll set the calendar. And we'll set it for 6 a.m. local time, and it goes live tomorrow. Okay. Right? I, I, I and, and, and also, another, another tip. Rather than daily budget, lifetime budget. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. thought that was um, – and I, I, I haven't taken any, like, official courses or anything on Facebook ads. 
uh, I know we know Facebook favors people that pay them more money. <laughs> so that's, that's why somebody, I don't remember who it was. Somebody had told me that lifetime budget was, was not ideal for that reason. Like if you, if you have an open-ended budget, Facebook sees you as willing to spend more. But if you have a closed ended budget, like lifetime, they're going to say, okay, well, he's only worth, uh, you know, a hundred dollars to us. So we are not going to promote his ad. That's, that's, just, that's where I heard at some point along the line that that there's some logic behind that and that that's somewhat that that makes sense i mean i'll give i'll give you that 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 does i mean if if the if the system does work that way that makes sense but the way i kind of learned as well which also also makes sense where it's like every day every ad every day every hour of the day there's an auction going on right you're bidding against other people that are spending the same amount yeah. and 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 it's a bidding game that's facebook advertising where this guy's advertising spending this much, this other guy's advertising spending that much. Show that ad more if that guy's spending more, right? So it's it and it and it and it and it's a daily thing. When you set your budget daily, which is what we're at ten dollars a day, because every day is a little different as far as traffic. Every day is a, a little different. More people are online at a certain amount of time of the day, and, and it fluctuates. So let's say, for example, at ten dollars a day, there was a potential reach of let's just say 1500 people. But if we left it open, we could have possibly reached 1700. Because the daily because there was no daily budget, the budget was was up, you could spend whatever you could okay. Facebook, you could spend more than 10 bucks today, or, or in some cases, there may not be as much traffic. So when you put a daily budget, it forces you know Facebook saying. to spend it, rather yeah. than just organically pushing it out. And it's the same dollar amount. Like if we're running $10 a day for seven days, that's 70 bucks. It's the same thing. But if I open it up lifetime and I put 70 bucks over lifetime, it just gives Facebook the flexibility to spend it however they want per day. As long as I'm not going to spend it all in one day. You no, know, like they don't spend it all. No, because we set the calendar. So we'll set the calendar. We'll set it for tomorrow, oh. 6 a.m. And then, and then however you want to, whatever the budget is, put the end date for the calendar. Okay. And there's our same dollar amount. Okay. Okay. So you could just say, I, I, I want to, I want this ad to run for a week. I mm -hmm. have a lifetime, a lifetime budget of 70 bucks. Spend Damn. it as you, as you see fit. That's all it is, man. Okay. That's all it is. So it's a little different than Google. I, I, I was, I did take a formal course in Google ads and I, it's a little different than that, I think, but, um, but whatever I could, I could, uh, I could do something like that. Yeah. Lifetime, lifetime. I've, I've just seen numbers just increase with, with lifetime. Um, because again, I'm not, I'm not giving them a cap per day. The question though of um, the question of um, uh, targeting though, like like like, is it crazy to just target like everybody because there's you know with a very small audience is it kind of kind of a bad decision and that's okay if it was I I I'll own that. No, not at all. In fact, I wouldn't even put homeowner and home improvement when I'm targeting a low a, a small radius. Like right, like just just leave it blank, leave it completely blank, like you said. I would leave it completely blank. That's what I do with real estate agents, and real estate agents are. That's what I do with any local business owner. Really, so, so no, no targeting, like because I, I think like what if we target teenagers and stuff? They obviously don't own homes, you know. But it, it's it's. But but see, that's why that's why like in this case in in this case you may you may want to put those words because he's not that's not his local like that's not his local area right he's in and out all all over the country. The the comp the company is is this local area, but he himself is kind of, yeah he's a lot yeah. more broad. The, the, yeah, so so when you leave it wide open, what you're banking on and what you're what you're really strategically doing is creating a custom audience around those who engage in the post. So whether it's an image ad and they click like, they comment, they share, that's engagement, and then right. we can create an audience around those people. Or if it's a video. Yeah. 50% and all that. But again, that's for people that are actually building a long-term business in that area. Cause okay. then it makes sense to build a custom audience and retarget them in week number two, week three, week four, week five, because I'm running ads all damn day. Cause that's my local area. That's where I live. That's where I do business. Yeah. Right. But in this yeah. case, we got to get straight to the point and the keywords in your case would, would be better homeowner home improvement. But again, putting one word, creating a second ad set with with the second word and just breaking up that ten dollars five five gotcha gotcha so i could do that yeah so all you would do is just go in and and set up the ad again but as you're here in the ad set um level we would just duplicate and then and then and then that that second one would be home improvement yes 
right? I, I, I will do that. Yes, dude. And, uh, yeah, I could change the budget to, I could change the budget to lifetime, something like that too. Yeah. Yeah. And then what you can also do is you can duplicate the campaign or the ad, the third tab. So the third tab, you can also watch, click on that third, right there at the top. You see number one above the green button create, you see the one, which we're in the ad set and then the tab to the right. Yeah. That one, click on that one. You can even duplicate the, the, the campaign level. So for example, if we're running, if we have a video or we have an image, we can duplicate that and put a different video or put a different image. Sure. Sure. Right. So, so now, now we're, we're running two ad sets, $5, $5. And each ad set has a different image or has a different yeah. video. Yeah. Right. Or, or let's say for example, you use the same video. So we have two ad sets, $5 each, two different keywords, homeowners, home improvement. And then we come to the, the, the campaign level and we can duplicate the, the campaign, but rather if we don't have a second video or a second image, we could just slightly alter the headline. Gotcha. Yeah. So now we can see which one, and you're only going to do that for a few days. Like you'll let it run for a few days and whichever one pops, turn the other one off, turn the other ad set off. So you don't run that for seven days. You run that for maybe three, four days, maybe two, three days, if that. And just see, okay, where's that next lead coming from? Is it going to come from home improvement? Is it going to come from homeowner? Is it going to come from this second image that we set up or the headline that we changed? Same image, same video, but we changed the headline. Do people, are they attracted more to this headline versus that headline? Sure, split testing. Right? So, so that, yeah, that is, that's, that's, that's all split testing is. is, is it's change, not even, even having to completely change the image or the video, just slightly changing the headline. Gotcha. And, and that, that right there would make a huge difference. And then on the ad set level, duplicating it and simply putting in the, a different keyword. So that way, you know, which keyword popped for you. Cause the way we have it set up now with two different keywords in the same spot, we don't know which keyword it is. So right. I, I want all my dollars going to that one keyword. That is the one popping for me. And you can only know that if we separate them. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll try everything you said there. I mean, that's, that's good. That's good stuff. Um, yes, man, for sure. I, uh, I, uh, it's, it's good to know that like in, in a lot of local businesses, you don't do any targeting, you know, you don't, you don't do any only uh, because that, and that's only the first time around. That's only the first time around. So keep that one in mind. It's only the first time around. And a lot of times it's based on a video. So a lot, a lot of times when I'll bring on a new client, I'll say, okay, before we capture leads, Here's what I want you to do first. I want you to pull out your cell phone and I want you to introduce yourself. Your background, your experience, your passion, your business, who the hell you are. Because even though, and I talk to people that have been in their area forever, they live in that local area. That's where they do business. That's where they live. So I talk to people all the time where it's like, okay, those are the, that's, the, that, that, that's, that's, what they, they, that's where they live. That's where they do business. But I also tell them, I say, hey, let's keep it real. I've been in San Diego for over 40 years. I've lived here every day of my life so far, there's over 3 million people in my local area alone. I don't know everyone. I don't even know my damn neighbors. Yeah. So I tell these local business owners, I say, hey, you live there, you've been doing business there for 15 years, but I'm willing to bet not everyone knows you. So when you could pull out your phone and, and I call it an intro video. Now this roofer, he's not gonna probably have time for that, but any other local business owner that actually lives in that area, first video, pull out your phone, let's introduce yourself. Because what we're going to do with that is we're going to leave the targeting wide open. We're going to run it under video views, not lead generation. And we're going to let that run. Our first weekly budget is going to go to that video view ad. Because after, after what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to grab, we're going to get thousands of people to view it. Literally thousands, even at 10 bucks a day for seven days, you would literally get thousands of people. And then, and then all we do in week number two, week number two is retarget the 25 percenters. So, yeah. so that like eliminated, the, not even half the video, 25% of the video, right? Yeah. 25%, not even half. Cause even you do a five minute intro video, 25%, that's a good amount of time that someone actually sat there and watched it. And no kid, oh, okay. no oh, kid's yeah. going to do this that. This is like a 30 second video. This isn't five. This is like, 30 yeah, 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 yeah. But an intro video, as you introduce yourself, if you really pull out your phone, Hey, this is rich. Like you would go on for a couple minutes, you know? And so with that, now we have a custom audience of people who actually watched your shit. Yeah. And we didn't put in any keywords. We left it wide open. 
Right. So, so now week number two, we simply retarget all those viewers. Week number three, we retarget every one of those as well. Like, and we just keep, we keep retargeting every week, the people who are actually watching our stuff, sure, which sure. has nothing to do with keywords. That's uh, you actually, you actually have customers that have that time though. Like they, like sometimes people come to me, they're like, I need to drive leads now. I need yeah. to drive leads. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Everyone does, bro. Everyone does. Everyone does. But then I also have to bring them down and dumb it down. And I say, okay, cool. Well, we can completely go out and, and just go out with a bang. But at the same time, put your consumer hat on. And when's the last time you saw a cold ad for the very first time, clicked on it and gave up all your information? Very rarely does that happen. And so if you want to come out the gates that way, okay, cool. Let's just get straight to the point. But a lot of times when they're bringing, when, when, when they're hiring me, for example, to run it for the month, this is just how we're going to break it down. There's four weeks. Week number one is the intro video. And then once I explain the power of the custom audience and being able to retarget all those who watched it, that's going to allow their second ad to convert even higher because now we're running week number two ad and all these people know you. They've all seen you before. We're retargeting those who've seen you before. So now when we're finally going for the lead, these, are more, these people are more likely to give it up because they've seen you last week in their newsfeed introducing yourself. Right. You know what I mean? So right. again, that's just someone who, who actually is planting their flag and, and, or, and putting their flag down saying, hey, this is my local area. I'm going to crush it. I'm going to brand the shit out of myself. And th that's just how, how, how it can be done. And, and then after that, you just, you just retarget you know, the, the custom audiences. And then, and then as you start to capture leads, you start to build custom audiences around, around all the people who, who you actually captured a lead around, custom audience. You can create a custom audience around the lead generation form. So everyone who filled out this form, there needs to be a custom audience sure. if, if you're going to you know, stay in that local area. But then once you create that custom audience, then you create a, a, a lookalike audience. And now you're just running ads to your lookalike audiences. Gotcha. So that, that's like the long-term play. It's not, yeah, the, the, yeah it's not, it's, it's, it's all I know, about that's, customers. Look like it's the best. It's the strongest you could have, right? It's, it's the best. But, uh, but it's a, yeah, but you can only do it around a custom audience and the custom audience was only based around those who either engaged or watched our shit had nothing to do with the keyword. Sure. Sure. Right now, gotcha. now, now, now keywords are powerful for, for nationwide. Like if, if we're running a nationwide business, and, and we can operate and sell a product in any state, then keywords for sure. But in a local audience, a local area, the keywords not necessary. Base it around the people, base it around your custom audiences. Base it around your custom audiences. Put out a video, those who watch it, retarget them. Gotcha. And do that over and over and over and over and over. Before you know it, people are gonna see your video every damn week, become indoctrinated in your content and wanna pull their pants down and give up their information. Gotcha. That's like right. a like a long term play, but at the same time, long term is not long term. Long term is a month. So if we're looking at it monthly, that's just kind of how I would strategically roll it out for a local business owner. Gotcha. You know, understand. That's that's that makes a lot of sense. Yes, man. So what else sense. you got, bro? What else you got for me? No, that was it. I mean, this this okay. guy, this roofer guy, is what I is what I had. I mean, he's uh like I said, he's got a short time frame. He you know the storm happens, he has to go in there and get the get the business, and that's um that's what we were looking at. So yeah, I'll tell you what I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll stop the ad. I mean, I'll, I'll split, um, I'll split the ad set into two, one for, one for homeowners, one for home, uh, improvement. And, um, and I'll change the budget to lifetime. And, yes. Um, Set yeah, a we, start date and an end date, push the start date to the following morning. Yes. It, it, and, and then just, it's the same dollar amount lifetime budget. And then, and then if anything, maybe try duplicating also, the campaign level, the ad level, the ad level, not the campaign, the ad level, which is the third tab. Maybe, yes. and you don't necessarily have to change the video or change the image, change the headline, change the headline. Yes. And, 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 and see if that, and then again, after a few days, I would give it, I would give it, I would give it three days, three, four days, see which one pops for you and then automatically right away, shut off the other one. I will do. Um, in case you wanted to see the other stats here. I mean, link clicks, what you see over here is link clicks. That doesn't, uh, so vanity metric doesn't mean anything. Um, video views. I, I, when I looked at video views, I think at least, at least 20% of them had watched like half the, half the mm -hmm. video, I think. Uh, should, should I do anything with that or no? Yeah, dude, that'd be a custom audience. That'd yeah, be a I, custom I, know, I mean, I mean, now that I'm already, now that we're already, um, now that we're already splitting the ad set into two, uh, you know, should, is it too late to do that approach now? I'll take a, make a custom audience and, uh, out of video views. Well, the, 
it would be necessary and 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 recommended if you're going to run another ad. So so if okay. you're going to run if you're going to run ad number two, ad number three, ad number four, yeah, start start getting these custom audiences going. But okay. again, if if he's only going to be in there for a little while and you're only going to run a couple ads, then it might it might not be necessary. Um, now, in this case, you did run the ad. It does have some views. How many views did it get? Uh, it looks like reach the video had a thousand. Well, it had 1500 views. The carousel had 590. Okay. In terms of, in terms of people, it's a little less than that. So have you created a custom audience of the views yet? Not, not yet. No. Okay. But, Do you know how I can walk you through it real quick? No, I, I know how to create a custom audience. Um, do, do that then. Yeah, for sure. Do that. Sure the numbers are big enough. You know, like you need, I know for a look like audience, you need at least a hundred. And for a custom audience, you probably need something like that too. Uh, so. I, I think you need a thousand. I think you need a thousand views and you can create oh, a good custom audience. I don't even know if I have that. I mean, for, for 50%, I don't know if, I, you could I, just, I would say, yeah. You could just know. do it anyways. I mean, you could just, just for the hell of it, you could do it. Like, even if it's not that big, even if it's not that big, that's fine. They're going to, you're creating a custom audience and you're going to, you're going to put that in the ad set level, target that custom audience. You could still do it. It's not okay. going to affect, it's not going to affect anything. If anything, it could just give you more exposure, gotcha. but create a custom audience, do that, do that first. And then, and then, and then set up the ad again. And in the ad set level, you'll just hit the drop down. Watch, click on that middle tab, ad sets. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Up. So what we'll do here is go ahead and just click on edit. Yeah. Right there. And then in the actual, so is that as high as you can go? Yeah, that's as high as you can go. So scroll, scroll down a little bit. Um, it should be above. Go to yeah, see right there. So custom audiences. So all you do is click in there, and then choose the actual custom audience that you that you set up. So click, click inside, add a previously. Yeah, click right there. You'll see the drop down, and it'll be custom audience right there. And you'll see it right there. You'll see twenty five percenters or fifty percenters or three percenters or whatever. Okay. And then you choose okay. it right there. Okay. And then boom. All right. that, that's the custom Great. audience. And then, and then you can still base it off of two miles, North Carolina. You can still use all that, but at least we're, at least we're retargeting the custom audience. And even if it's a small audience, oh, well, it's a small area. So sure. it can't hurt by creating I'll, it. First. I'll do that. I'll, 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 I'll base my two new ad sets around that custom audience. Yes. And, uh, and yeah, lifetime budget and schedule for tomorrow morning. Sounds good, bro. Keep me posted. Let me know, man. Thanks. Yeah. Do you have like an email? I mean, how, how should I get in touch with you? Yes, man. That email that I sent you the reminder on, that's my actual email. Oh, right. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yes. Dude. All right. So email me anytime, man. Comment on, on anytime and reach out to me anytime. We'll jump on a call whenever you need me. I really appreciate it, Dave. Bye, Rich. It's been a big help. Yes, sir. Thank big you so help. much, man. Thank you, buddy. Talk to you soon. Keep it bye -bye. up. Bye-bye.